Legends. I hope you're all fantastic. It is time for another installment of Five Minute Licks. A couple of weeks ago, I put up a little video trying to do some pedal steel style licks using a combination of bending notes with your left hand and then tapping and sliding notes with your right hand because as we all know, the term boomer bends has been the guitar buzzword of the last couple of months. So I was playing around with the guitar and I love me some boomer bends and also love me some kind of tapping and I guess modern guitar techniques. And I was just fiddling around and thinking, how could I put the two together? And we get this. <laughs> So what on earth is happening there? The first thing that I want you to practice is to practice this without the bending part of it. So we're gonna take a C note, fret five on the G string, and we're gonna slide it to a D note, fret seven on the G string. And I'll just use whatever finger is available here. So what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna land on fret 12 of the D string, which is a D note. We're gonna tap that one. So we get this. The trick now is to get this kind of contrary motion going on where I'm gonna slide back down to the C note with my left hand, but I'm gonna slide up to an E note, which is a major third higher. I'm thinking key of A minor for all of this, by the way. So all up, we get this. <laughs> which on its own is a pretty cool technique, but I like the kind of unpredictability and the lack of precision you get when you have a bent note, but you combine it with a very precise tap and slide note. So taking that together, we get this. <laughs> It's kind of cool that we are bending up to that D note and you know, hovering around it. You don't have to be super precise, but then we get the perfectly fretted D note with our right hand there. And then this note gets brought down and that one gets slid up. It's really, really cool. You can use it with semitone bends. For example, if you're in the key of A minor and I was very much vibing on the Robert Plant solo song, Big Log for all of this. Uh, we would take a B note, bend it by a semitone up to C. Then we're gonna tap fret 10 on the D string, which is a C. And you guess it when you release down to B, slide up to that D note at fret 12. You can do the same thing with the root note A, bend it by a tone up to B, hit fret nine on the D string, which is a B and slide it up. So you get something like this. <laughs> Now you can play around with different intervals there. I just chose thirds because they sound really sweet and melodic. You could of course play around with bending the low note and tapping the high note or you know, doing stuff where say you bend from that D note, fret seven on the G string up to an E, but then you tap a high E somewhere like fret 17 on the B string. <laughs> Staying within a pentatonic scale, you could add tapped harmonics or anything else like that. In fact, I would love to know what you all do with this particular take on pedal steel inspired bending and sliding. It just kind of goes to show that the guitar is such a versatile instrument and you can take a supposedly tired technique or a supposedly tired pair of techniques like bending and tapping and then you combine them and you have something fresh and exciting. It's like taking balsamic vinegar and putting it on ice cream and having it and going, oh, this is pretty amazing. And that's kind of what this lick feels like. Let me know what you all thought in the comments. As usual, links to support the channel and join the Discord in the video description. Have a fantastic day. Have some fun with this technique.